Um, next, we're going to hear from Josh Kaupala. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Joshua Kaupala. Use they, them pronouns. Um, uh, with the Maine Poor People's Campaign, and uh, I was, uh, I'm up here to talk about housing and community. And um, right now in America, there are 3.5 million homeless people. There are 18.6 million vacant homes. Now uh, we got a we got a, a chant. We say that ain't right. Can I hear it? That ain't right. 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 right now. In the last year, the amount owed to, to uh, landlords in the city that myself and a couple of uh, other Poor People Campaign folks are from up in Bangor, the amount owed uh, to landlords uh, rose from uh, $1,288 to $2,470, nearly doubled the amount owed in arrears. The cost of housing has been going up. The stock of housing has been staying the same. The wages have been staying the same. More folks are, are homeless. More folks are unhoused. More folks are living precariously. Um, and we need to make sure that the budget that the federal government puts out um, reflects the actual emergencies and the urgency of folks struggling right now because community, housing, having a roof over your head is only the beginning. Having a community that you can be uh, in relation with, uh, share joys and sorrows with, these are things that get um, divided from us uh, because war and militarism and an economy that runs on these deadly practices don't end up creating a nurturing place. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. We, we need to create a community and a world where everyone in, nobody out. And with the, the Poor People's Campaign, we say, when you lift from the bottom, we all rise. And I'm speaking as a person who um, has experienced homelessness. I moved to the city of Bangor five years ago into the shelter system. Um, part of community is recovery. I'm a person in recovery. Um, part of alienation from community is addiction. So we can fight that alienation from a war economy. We can fight that alienation from each other. We can fight that alienation from comfort that, we ha that, that so many of us are lacking with true community. When our budget can align with our values, when our words can align with our actions, and when no one in our society is relegated to the side and pushed off and pushed away because everybody's got a right to live.